All right. I had to come back to YouTube because there's a certain radio that needs attention. And some people may think of a handful of them. And sorry for the cra crappy camera work because uh, I couldn't think of any other else to way to do this. So um, this radio does need its attention because it is uh, making, it is stealing a lot of the likes of a radio company that uh, is on the table right there. I'm not going to spoil it, but uh, yeah, I bought one of these, the Ham Geek APX 8000. And I can tell you right now, just by the front of the box, the way that they have set this up, it means that we're in for a very, very sad ride. So, you can probably see some of the stuff over there because I'm too lazy. But anyway, it says it's dual band. It's bull screen, bull PTT. This thing's a bunch of bull crap if you ask me. Um, I don't know, I, this is basically, this is to set, I'm telling you, this is going to set the standards from here on out about this radio. So we're going to go in depth to this thing. So what you get in the box, I'm just going to throw that over there. No one cares. Um, you get a flathead screwdriver. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I know why, but it's kind of like why. So the battery is actually connected via this uh, knob right here. So if I take it off, bear with me, actually, yeah, you know what? I'll take it off. Give me one second. I just gave a sneak peek of it. This is the battery. I took the, took the screw off right here off the bottom and it claims if it'll focus here, 8,800 milliamps. I don't know if that's true or not, but, uh, I've yet to test that out. I just bought it yesterday. So obviously you get this battery, 8,800 milliamps. Now you may be asking, okay, we may just saw it though. How do you charge it? Well, <laughs> if I can get it open here. It charges via USB-C. So in addition to that, whatever, you get a crappy charger. Just, yeah. You also get this. This is a wall plug for it. And then you get something that's also spe spectacular. You get this and I'll show you exactly what that is here in a minute once I show you the radio. Well, sorry about that, that took way too darn long. I forgot to mention, it comes with an antenna and you can't see it because this camera's crap. Uh, it says it does 136 to 174 to 400, 470. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what, it's, if you buy one of these seriously or for fun or whatever, Take this antenna and just throw it because it's it, it it's literally a piece of crap. Like it is the worst antenna that I have ever had, and I've had some crappy Chinese radios. So the moment you've all been waiting for, yeah, this is the Ham Geek Apex 8000, and uh, it is uh, it's an abomination. It's very scary to look at. It makes you cr it makes you want to go cry in a corner because of how freaking close to realistic this thing is. Oh, I forgot to mention this. This makes it even better. So what you do is, is like, you slide it. Boom, belt clip. But guess what, the speaker's restricted, so good luck hearing anything. So we're gonna try to turn this sucker on and show you something. Yeah, look at that, just, oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, I forgot to mention, it also has a top screen. Just absolutely exquisite. You don't see uh, Motorola building quality like this. No, 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 no. And absolutely not. So, uh, some people, you know, you may be asking, okay, well, oh, let me just take this off. Okay, well, okay, so what kind of accessories can you get with this radio? Well, there's only a few. You can buy... I don't know if they even sell this. It's a piece of crap anyway. Uh, you can buy the, uh, you can buy a charger. Sorry, not a charger. You can buy a battery for it. So I can buy an extra battery if I wanted to. Uh, I can buy a programming cable. Yes, this has a programming cable and yes, it has software, but the software is $25.
really stupid. Just, I'm not even gonna go into that. That's just really stupid if you ask me. But everything's programmable on the front, so why not? Um, this also has an RSM. You can buy an RSM. I didn't, I didn't buy one because I bought mine secondhand. I didn't buy, I didn't pay full price for this thing. I'd absolutely not pay the hundred and ten dollars that it cost. But you may be asking, Nathan, where does the RSM go? Well, there is no K connector on this radio. So if you're a sharp-eyed viewer, yes, it goes right here. And you want to know what kind of connector that is? I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yes, it's USB-C. Who in their right minds? Now, I get, okay, hold on. I get why maybe you would want to use a programming cable for USB-C. Maybe yeah, it's okay, sure, why not? Why the heck not? Have fun with it, right? Um, no, yeah, but this is where the RSM goes. And if you don't, if you don't know, if you if you don't believe me, eBay. If you go and look, there's actually a listing with the mic connected on facing this side, with the mic right here connected, looking like this, and the mic's around it. I'm like, oh my god, like this is just this is terrible. Like, but I will admit, I mean, it doesn't feel that cheap. Like, it is cheap. Don't get me wrong, but it. it it doesn't feel cheap. It, it has a decent quality plastic. It really does. And I won't lie to you. It, it kind of does. And it feels good in the hands. That's because it got ripped off an Apex. But still, it feels good in the hand. Also, look at this. <laughs> Two push to talk buttons. Would you look at that? I mean, come on, guys. Ham Geek knows what they're doing. They're trying to beat Motorola here. Clearly, they're doing a good job. By the way, that is sarcasm if no one caught on to that. Also, you got two programmable function keys, which I guess is nice. Uh, you have menus, and this may not work very well, but squelch, save, uh, transmit power, roger beep, TOT, vox guard, wide narrow voice. Some of these, I you can change like uh, if it's frequency or channel name. Uh, you know, the CTS, DCS tones, transmit offset, the language, obviously English and China. Uh, there's a beep if you want the beep to come on. It has a voice, uh, but she's very, very, very annoying. So um, let's actually turn her on because she's annoying. Turn her on. She is super annoying. Menu. Confirm. Just, just absolutely awful. So I turn that off. Um, it does have MDC. Um, you can change the PF1 short tones. Um, you can program memory channels. I think it has like 120, even though if you want to be technical here, if I can find it in the setting here, uh, it claims 900, there it is, number eight, 999 set of memory channels. That's not true. And secondly, this thing claims 12 watts of power. That is a lie. I can tell you that is a lie. I don't, never, I've not tried it, but part of me says that it is a lie. So, you know, you've got the, bat the battery. The battery's actually been pretty decent so far. I just can't believe I said that. Oh, yeah, this thing has MDC, too. So, um, it you can't change the ID. I just think it plays a tone. Um, oh, dear God, is it bad. So, um, let me actually... So, I will say the one thing that is interesting about this radio is the audio quality. Um, the audio quality is something, I'll tell you that. Let me get on a, let me get on a fire channel here and we'll, uh, I'll play you a bit of it so you can hear it. So while I'm waiting for a call here, because, you know, so for some reason they're quiet today. I shouldn't have said that word. Uh, by the way, if you see the OEM 8000 antenna on it, uh, please don't send a mob after me. This is just a joke. This is not real. I put this on as a joke. Street, near Scott Street. Key left 533 H. Hotel. Alpha, Alpha, 10. So it means. Automatic alarm. I'm going to turn this down. It, it also has a busy light up top. When you transmit, it turns red. And some people also may notice that there's this little, it looks like a GPS locator thing. The model behind this actually used to be, it had a network LTE option, like a POC radio. This, that's the version that came before it. This is the newer version that doesn't have that feature, just VHF and UHF. And I can show you the top display. So the top display only shows, 
get this off here. But yeah, this thing is just, I am bewildered, to be honest with you. Let me turn it off here. This thing is just ridiculous. I have, I cannot believe my eyes staring at this monstrosity that I'm looking at. But yeah, that's what the top display does. It matches basically the top and bottom frequencies, so it does that, oh, by the way. You can't change that, by the way. It only stays like that, so. So, but uh, this thing says it has scrambling. I've not tried that yet. It's got a lot of things that I've not tried yet. Uh, it says it has FM. It, it does VHF, UHF, um, and then it does, it has, um, it does airband receive, which I've tried. It's not that good, especially when you've got one of these on here, no matter how cursed that is. Very cursed, and I apologize for that. It's part of the meme at this point, because I just bought this radio as a joke. Um, now, here's the thing. If we want to be serious, oh, sorry. There's also a channel knob, and this works, by the way. You just let it spin around forever, uh, and it changes the. Hold on, let's see if I can do this. It changes the crap. It does this. You can actually change the channels around, but it's not like an actual Apex. So, but yeah, it's supposed to do FM radio, and I've yet to figure out where that works because a lot of people would know on some of these radios you press a button and it does that, but I can't find that setting. So, oh well. So, all right, honest opinions. $110, stay clear. It's not worth it at all. Please do not buy this radio for $110. If you can get it cheaper, then sure. But if you have the money against your money, I don't care what you do. Quite frankly, this is this is worse than a bail thing. Like, if you want to take looks aside and, like, feel the radio aside, it's, uh, it, it, it is crap. It is just terrible. It does analog only, VHF, UHF. It can do uh, repeaters and other stuff. So, I mean, you could put this on ham or GMRS if you really wanted to, or RX it for being whacker if you want to, your local police department, as long as it's analog or fire, or whatever you want. Um, but uh, um, I, I, it, the audio quality doesn't sound that bad. I thought it was going to sound a lot worse. It actually sounds better than I anticipated. Uh, if you want to buy this as a joke radio, not at full price, I mean, you can. Uh, you can program everything straight from the keypad. It's kind of similar to how Baofeng's set up. I mean, that's literally what it is. It's just a Baofeng with a colored screen. I mean, seriously, that's all it is, guys and gals. That's literally all it is. Literally all it is. So, again, I don't... If you want to buy this radio as a joke, I don't blame you because that's what I did it for. But, I mean, if you seriously want to buy something like this... Uh, I wouldn't pay full price for it. I wouldn't pay a dime over fifth or a dime over fifty bucks for it. I paid more than that, but you know, I really don't care at this point. I did it as a joke, and I partially regret it now. But I might as well share this on YouTube because no one else has done it. Because I don't think anybody's uh, brave enough to buy it. And you know, I'm not judging anybody that is not brave enough because honestly, I can see why. But this is just oh my god. So, but I, the biggest points on this radio is that, yeah, it feels good, kind of. It, it feels good. It feels somewhat durable. Um, the, the RX quality is okay. Um, the manual is complete crap. Don't, that was actually a good shot. <laughs> uh, man, the manual is crap. The antenna over there, uh, just, if you're going to, if you buy this one, swap that freaking thing out. It sucks. It, it's terrible. Please just swap it out. I will say, though, this is pretty whack-tastic, I guess you can call it, where you can just, if I do this right on my camera, ah, oh, crap, well, it's not going to work, but, because I can only do it with one hand, because I'm holding it, but, eh, I guess this is kind of cool, it, I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess, to have this, I mean, fully, fully cheating the apex, which, by the way, the only, how you can get it out is you literally just, just lock it in, you just push it up, and then the gravity keeps it when your hip, when it's on your hip, but if you want to take off, you just like that. And to be honest with you, this thing, um, I'm surprised uh, Motorola has not chased after Ham Geek for this or whoever is manufacturing these things. And I think I know a lot of companies are manufacturing these because it's all from one brand. And uh, I'm surprised they're not gone because this thing's been hanging around for a couple months and I've waited a couple months for finding one uh, secondhand to buy. And uh, again, it is a it is a freaking abomination. I don't think anyone, uh, I don't think uh, this should be existing. 
Obviously, I'm joking. This is just, I love this because it's fantastic. I actually love this because of how ridiculously, like, all joking and, like, all the crap I've been saying aside, this is the funniest darn, this is the funniest freaking radio I own because it's not an Apex, but it sure darn looks, it's pretty darn close to one, and it kind of feels like it. Not really, but just a little bit. There's a little beef to it, but not as much. But all joking aside, this thing is just, I love, I love it just because of how ridiculously cloned it is. That's why it's so funny. So I would only buy this thing if you want it as a joke. If you don't want it as a joke and you're serious, then I would, I mean, I uh, just buy a Bale thing. They're cheaper. I, I understand you want one that looks like a, a, an Apex. I get it. I totally understand it because, you know, I have this guy right here. And I'm like, oh, I want an Apex. Well, I'm too cheap to afford it. It's my next best option. Obviously joking. I love my XG100. But, um, yeah, this, uh, um, I, I'm speechless. When I first got it in the box, I was, I was, I was dumbfounded on what I had found. So uh, I, I wanted to make a review of it, or like a little joking review of it, because no one has done it before. And a lot of people are like on eggshells with this darn thing. I'm, again, I'm surprised this thing has not been tra tracked down by, by by Big Moto and wiped them off the face of the planet. Because, I mean, it's literally the same, almost the freaking same as a real Apex. So I don't recommend this to someone who want, who wants who just wants it for like seriousness. I think it's stupid. I wouldn't buy it in my own personal opinion. I'd rather you buy a bail thing, but again, it's your money. You do what you want. Uh, but if you are, if you have the money and you want to buy it as a joke, kind of like I did just to say, Oh, I have an, a I have an apex, uh, buy it. Cause it's actually, I've had it 24 hours now, a little bit over 24 hours. And I freaking am like, I'm geeking. That was a bad joke. But I'm geeking over this radio, meaning like I'm laughing because it is so funny just to carry this thing around. Because it's, it, it, you know, your brain, it's like, is it an apex? Is it not? It's like it's having an identity crisis. It's just so funny. I don't know why. It's just entertaining. So, uh, yeah. Don't buy it unless you really want to. That's all I got to say to that. Also, thanks for uh, 1,000 subscribers. Kind of shocked we even got that far. I know it's been a long time since I made a video, but... Uh, I saw uh, people talking about this on forums, and I decided to come back out of the woods and uh, come out of my cave and make this video. So, hope you all enjoyed it. Again, sorry for the crappy cinematography. I couldn't find an easier way to film this. So, um, it's bouncy. It's jerky. I apologize. So, hopefully this uh, answers your questions. Leave questions in the comments of anything you're curious about this radio, and I'll try to answer them best I can. Again, this is VHF, UHF, dual band, analog only. Um... Can work on repeaters, does uh, tones, memory channels. Uh, oh, one more thing before I go. This is the piece of the cake. So if you have it on, uh, if you have it in the, on the English language, obviously. If you want to go to a menu setting, you know how it's okay. This one says, eh, sure. Hey, do you want to change your, uh, you want to change your Roger beep? Sure. Do you want it uh, off? Yeah, sure. Like, it's just so stupid. Just, yeah, that's why I love it even more. So. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all later.